katika kaunti ya Nyeri. Na mtazamaji tukiendelea na taarifa gavana wa kaunti ya Vihiga Wilbao Tichiro ambaye ni msomi wa sayansi ya mali asili na sayansi ya anga ya nje ya dunia ndiye aliyekuwa mwasisi wa hoja ambaye aliwasilisha kwenye bunge mwaka elfu moja ama mwaka elfu mbili kumi na tatu kuitaka serikali kuruhusu uwekezaji katika vyakula vilivyobadilishwa jeni almarufu GMO. Otichiro ametetea hatua yake ya kulitambulisha taifa kwenye sayansi ya kubadili muundo jeni akisema tayari vyakula kisaki ama GMO kipenda pamoja na dawa za matibabu zimekuwa zikitumika nchini na kupuzilia mbali madai kwamba vyakula hivyo vina madhara kwa mwanadamu. Wili Lusigi anasimulia safari ya mwanasayansi huyo miaka 16 iliyopita kuhusu GMO hata kabla ya Kenya kuruhusu wagizaji wa mahindi kisaki. Si wengi wanafahamu safari ya taifa la Kenya kuhusu kuruhusu sayansi ya mimea iliyobadilishwa mfumo jeni almaarufu GMO ilianza nchini Kenya mwaka 2006 na mwasisi wake alikuwa ni gavana wa sasa wa kaunti ya Vihiga Wilbur Tichlo. In 2006 we were the, among the first countries in Africa to enact biotechnology policy. Mwaka 2008 akiwa mmoja wa wanasayansi waliosukuma kupasishwa kwa sheria ya kutathmini ubora wa vyakula vilivyobadilishwa msimbojeni almaarufu Biosafety Act. We said as a country we are embracing genetic engineering as a way of improving production. Mwaka 2013 akiwasilisha mswada wa kwanza bungeni kuitaka bunge kupitisha sheria kuruhusu vyakula vya GMO nchini wakati huo akiwa mbunge wa Mhaya. The Biosafety Act was now legalizing the policy the biotechnology the policy. It translating the policy into now action. Msomi huyu wa sayansi alisomea chuo kikuu cha Nairobi, chuo kikuu cha Colorado, Marekani na shahada uzamifu kutoka chuo kikuu cha Uholanzi. The richest countries today in the world, they have embraced science and technology. Otichlo akisema mabadiliko ya mimea kisayansi yamekuwa yakifanyika nchini Kenya kwa muda mrefu hususan kwa mahindi. And breeding happens in all animal kingdom and plant eh, families. When you see you want to marry you you do selection and women are the best selectors women will always go for the big good qualities in a man they will look for a strong man be strong when you say a person strong means the genetic makeup of that person is also strong Wasomi wa GMO wakisema taifa la Kenya sawia na mataifa mengine ulimwenguni hayana budi kukubali vyakula hivyo kwa kuwa mimea iliyo katika taifa la Kenya haiwezi kustahimili mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kuongezeka kwa magonjwa ya mimea na wadudu. Bata crops contribute to food security, sustainability, even climate change solutions. You know also language is so mixed. When you say genetically modified, people get it. But they have the, the seed composition the genetic composition has been improved has it been improved for production pia otichlo akisema ubadilishaji wa msimbojeni tayari umeleta manufaa makubwa nchini kwenye sekta ya matibabu hususan kuzalisha dawa mujarabu GMO is even more important in medical the vaccines are genetically modified all these vaccines and who has not been vaccinated people who suffer from diabetes they are injected with insulin insulin is a gmo product ila wanasayansi wakisema lazima tafiti kuhusu vyakula vilivyobadilishwa msimbojeni ufanywe kwa kuzingatia maadili specific country public policies and strategies for biotechnology and emerging science technology development should be defined by clearly identified public policy objectives no danger whatsoever to the indigenous plants they can grow side by side mixed etc so when people say we want to preserve our own indigenous seeds which are these indigenous seeds maize is not even indigenous to africa maize came from mexico Kulingana na wadadisi huenda taifa la Kenya halitakuwa na njia mbadala ila kukubali vyakula hivyo ili kuweza kufikia kiwango cha uzalishaji wa chakula duniani na kupambana na ukosefu wa chakula. To, to enhance acceptance and adoption of GMO crops in Africa, we propose the following. 
scientists and the media should lead from the front in sensitizing the public on the right information we get. Native Luya, we had our own foods. We had Obuova. People didn't have you know, boats <laughs> protruding. The, the, that's the, the, the forward going forward and the backward following the, the forward. <laughs> They're looking like people with what we call flat screens eh? <laughs> because of the eating yeah. habits. You know, people talk like you know this is this is a is an animal people when i hear even in my fellow politician talk i say for sure heaven's sake why don't you they just go and read there is nothing that you can do that is a hundred percent hundred percent risk-free we need to news and nairobi